today on WFMS, we have a few updates as we hit midweek. We want to remind you that the Board Game and Chess Club will meet this afternoon. Today is the beginning of Black History Month. Let's up for some more interesting facts. Are you interested in musical theater? You'll want to listen up for any details. Our Wednesday weather update is coming your way today. We have a few sports updates for you today. The WFMS Admiral Announcement Network starts now. All aboard, Admirals. Thank you for joining us this morning on WFMS, the Admirals Announcement Network. I'm Nora. And I'm Heidi. Welcome to your home for news, announcements, and more on WFMS. Now for today's news and announcements. The Board Game and Chess Club is a great place to hang with friends and enjoy a good time, enjoy a good time around a game board or chess game. Come join us every Wednesday from 3.45 to 4.30. We have a correction on the location of our meeting this week. We will have this Wednesday in Navy Pod Room 212. Come on, come one, come all. Our club is open to students in all grades. Musical theater applications are now available for all students, so please sign out an application with Ms. Mink or Ms. Bendy in the chorus room. Applications will be accepted until Friday, February 3rd at 3.30. Today is February 1st, which means Black History Month has begun. We will be sharing a new Black History Month fact each day on the newscast for the whole month of February. We want to say thank you to Dr. Treadwell for supplying all of our Black History Month facts. Now for fact one. Black History Fact number one. MLK provides the most iconic part of his I Have a Dream speech. This fact may be the most surprising you'll find here. When King was originally drafting his speech, the dream language was considered but ultimately edited out. He was only allotted five minutes to speak and he didn't think he'd have enough time to fit those words in. And when he handed the speech into the press, the words, I have a dream, were not included. That's it for announcements. Now for our Wednesday weather brief. See the sun in the sky. Let's have a good time. Life is going on. This is a brand new day. Plants and be fine. We see Hi, I'm PT. And I'm Gabriel. Now for our weather update. As you made our way to school this morning, you may have noticed some light sleep following as a rainy front clipped our area overnight and into this morning. We will notice some more widespread rain moving back into our area through this morning. A chance of a wintry mix will remain in place for the southeast Kentucky and plateau this morning, which can lead for a light icing potential and an isolated weather alert for Knox and some surrounding counties. One thing for sure, cold and wet is still dominating our forecast. We will continue to have scattered rain showers during the day today with a high of 44 degrees. And I know this is hard to believe, but another batch of widespread rain moves in later tonight and into Thursday. Rain will continue on and off throughout the day, Thursday, with some isolated pockets of more moderate rainfall. The good news, though, is that the clouds will begin breaking up and we will actually have a mostly dry stretch for a few days, with highs in the, upper to, in the mid to upper 40s. That's it for weather. Now for our sports brief. Hi, I'm Gabriel. And I'm Heidi. Now for, and now for a quick sports update. Our FMS girls basketball team took on John Seaver on Monday night in the sectionals tournament. I know we are no longer surprised to hear that our Lady Admirals rolled over the op opponents again. They took down John Seaver with a score of 31 to 18, and they remain undefeated. Way to go, ladies. Our girls will hit the court again against Alcoa Middle on Thursday night at 7 p.m. at Powell. We'll be rooting for you, ladies. Attention athletes trying out for track this week. Make sure to change into an athletic gear right at the 3.30 bell, and then girls report straight to Coach Archer's room in Blue B 152, and boys report straight to Coach Kaz's room in Blue B151 for warm-ups outside. Team selections will be posted in each coach's room this Friday, so make sure to check during homeroom or after school. Those who make the team should report for practice on Monday, February 6th. I'm sure most of us has, have had the chance to see our amazing FMS dance team in action this year, and I know we can all agree what a phenomenal team they are. Well, the FMS dance team is traveling to Orlando this week to compete in the national championship. We wish them good luck and hope that they bring back some trophies and a white champion in some white championship jackets. That's it for sports. Now back to the news desk.
Thank you for joining us this morning on WFMS, the Admiral's Announcement Network. We hope you have a great day and evening. Make your choices. Be kind. Stay safe. And, and we, we will see you tomorrow. tomorrow.